Some people might disagree with you because, I mean, I remember reading uh, right of Chinea Achebe and one of the things he said was that, you know, we've always been materialistic. It's just that we've lost the spirituality that went with that materialism. Uh, do you agree with that particular point? Is there splitting? Is splitting here? Because, you see, when you said we have always been materialistic. Yes, yeah, society has always respected those who have money. I mean, who work hard for their money, who have it, who beautiful. have wealth. But they will always ask the question, how did you come about it? No, no, no. The, 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 the first sentence mm -hmm. is more like it. Society has always respected those who work hard for their money. Mm -hmm. And that puts final full stop to it. Don't go beyond that. You see, the moment you but no the, longer... But is that the case? Oh, no, no. Ordinarily, in, in, in traditional societies, even people who had bigger yam bands, we are, we, are, we are respected. But in, in Nigeria now, the whole idea is acquire wealth. No matter how you acquire it, you, you will take you, the front You work hard seat. in a different way. Oh, no, no. What, as a matter of fact, the 419 person say he works very hard. Doesn't he? He works very hard to be able to, to <laughs> dupe whoever he's duping. So he is working hard. But that's not the working hard Tuna Chebe had in mind. The working hard we are talking about is purposeful working hard. How do you think we can get it back? Do you, do you think it's possible to get it back? You see, well, my, my, my prescription in this, matter, in this matter is let us strengthen our electoral system. And once we strengthen our electoral system, it begins to produce the credible leaders we are talking about. You but on the side of it... Are there no improvements? On, because on, it was on one the of the side, things the, that the, the president talked easy. about. He says, well, we're talking about cleaning up the electoral <laughs> process. I mean, uh, you, don't, you haven't noticed anything improving in the oh, electoral system? Oh, no, no, system. there's a significant improvement. I said it on this, uh, this program once. Mm -hmm. You see, but you see, we must go beyond that to looking at the fundamentals. If you look at the West report, there are a lot of issues that were raised. And I have once argued that a situation where you fail an election or you are actually not returned you go to court and the documents that you are going to rely to be able to prove that you won that election lies with INEC INEC is also a defendant in the matter the natural thing is that the INEC is mostly mo most likely going to make sure that you win you I mean you lose that case but you see the ways report says INEC if you say Maupe won the election prove it so for the first time, you know, our evidence law is like being changed. So that it's no longer prosecution, prove your case. It is the man who's, who declared the election, prove it. Nobody looked at that. These are fundamental changes that are yet to be implemented in the, in the, in the electoral system. But again, aside, aside from that, or adjunct to it now, is a situation where there should be a viable, veritable, reliable civil society group civil society groups all over the world make a lot of changes the type we have in nigeria are youth wings of particular political parties i mean if you know that there is an interest that you have you, you of course you start one something something initiative so that when that matter comes up they'll get it to the streets and and be masquerading as civil society group meanwhile they are serving their masters so you see a deep systemic problem the point is this the moment you begin to see this both with the government, I mean, the, the government, that is the, the, the people and their leaders, then there will be a quantum jump into what we are asking for. But otherwise, we will be having rituals, you know, maybe Christmas, I mean, I call it Christmas, every, every independence anniversary. We will reel out something and we'll begin to discuss one president's speech and another and another, and we don't get to anywhere. Well, they also say that uh, the thing is, I mean, politicians or those up there, We'll never just come up unilaterally and want to do or change the economy the way the average person out there will want it. So can the man down there just come up, organize this change somehow, without necessarily relying or looking up to those up there? You see, politics gives you an implementation armory, in which case you are capable of changing what needs to be changed. Yeah, but if I don't want at to the lower it level, it at the lower me. level, the much you can do is you continue to lament, and which is what is happening now. It doesn't you, get us anywhere. It doesn't take you anywhere. But you need to get into politics. That is why we should be bothered about those who are capable of implementing decisions, mm. those who are capable of making policies. <coughs> they should not just emerge from questionable circumstances. Let there be a system that can sieve the chaff from the wheat. Such that by the, by the time we see our leaders, they should be leaders so properly called.